Good morning, Barrington. I'm Taya Ragnini. I'm Maliha Mean. Welcome back, everyone. Maliha, how was your Thanksgiving break? It was actually really fun, but I'm glad to be back at school. Well, now that we're back, it's time for another episode of BHS TV. I can't wait to see some of the great segments we have this for this week. But first, let's cue the intro. <laughs> One of the best things about break was being able to sleep in every day. I agree. During the week, I never get enough sleep. Thanks to Annie, we can learn some new ways to get the right amount of sleep. Let's go to Annie for some more info. Oh, good morning, BHS. How much sleep do you get? Well, studies show that high school students tend not to get enough sleep. So today, I'm going to be going around the school figuring out how much sleep us students get and how we can better improve our sleep. Let's go! Most high school students aren't getting enough sleep. On average, high school students are supposed to get 8 to 10 hours of sleep. So, how much sleep do you get a night? I get like 6-7 hours of sleep a day. About 4 hours. I get 10 hours of sleep. And how do you think you could get more sleep? Uh, not play Minecraft all night. Close my eyes and like lay down. How do you get so much sleep? I manage my time wisely in class. Do you notice the change in your day when you get more sleep? I do. I feel more energized. You know, I feel better prepared to tackle through the day. If you have an open, I would do all my schoolwork then. Some of the benefits of getting a good sleep include getting sick less often and staying healthy, reduce stress, and improve your mood. It also helps you think better and more straight. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed. Hope you get enough sleep. And always remember, if you don't get enough sleep, you can always go get some coffee at the coffee bar. Thanks for watching Tifa time, and see you next time with me, Annie Tifa. Thanks, Annie. That was really helpful. Now it's time for one of our classic segments. Let's send it over to Riley Trapp for another edition of Barrington Sports Desk. Hello and welcome back to yet another edition of Barrington Sports Desk. As always, I'm your host, Riley Trapp. Today in the show, we'll see how some of our BHS sports teams played, as well as preview some upcoming matchups. It's December 4th, and you're watching Barrington Sports Desk. First up is Phillies basketball. After falling to Grays Lake Central by a score of 44-50, the Phillies started a two-game winning streak beating Buffalo Grove 66-56 and getting revenge on Grays Lake Central by de defeating them by a score of 51-30. The Phillies' next game will be an away game against Hoffman Estates this Friday at 6 p.m. Next is wrestling. The wrestling team won the 29th annual Moore Pettyman Tournament. The Broncos won this tournament at home this past weekend, so congratulations to the wrestling team. Finally is Bronco Basketball, who started out their season with a win at the Thanksgiving Tournament, beating Crystal Lake Central 75-45, McHenry 60-28, and Hanega 55-43, and Prairie Ridge 59-27. The Broncos' next game is at Hoffman Estates at 7.30 this Friday, so go make sure to support the boys. That's all we have for this week, BHS. I'll catch you next time. Thanks, Riley. Now that we're up to date on Barrington Athletics, let's get in the know with Dee Dee Brewsters. What's up, Barrington? I'm GD Brucis, and it's time to get you in the know. The boys' varsity hockey team faces off against the Glenbrook North Spartans this Wednesday. Make sure to get out and support your Broncos. Girls Lacrosse will be holding a preseason meeting tomorrow from 3.30 to 4.30 in the faculty cafeteria. Any girls interested in playing this upcoming season should attend the meeting. See Coach Vogue in the PE office with questions. Some information for our seniors next semester. Student Pride Unites and Rewards Seniors, or SPURS, were developed to reward students for having good attendance, grades, and behavior during the last semester of their senior year. The SPURS criteria is students can have no more than five total absences in a class, including unexcused absences, but students can have two or fewer unexcused absences. Students also must earn an A or B for their semester to use their SPURS. And lastly, the student cannot have served an out-of-school suspension nor an in-school suspension and cannot receive a behavior contract. For seniors graduating next semester, SPURS will take effect when second semester starts. Barrington Giving Day is currently collecting new or gently used clean, warm coats, snow pants, boots, hats and gloves, blankets, books, toys, and more. Volunteer sign-up is also underway for its upcoming event on December 13th and 14th at BMS Station. To locate a collection bin near you, make a donation, sign up, or volunteer 
For more information, please visit www.barringtongivingday.org. That's all for this week, Barrington. I'm Dee Dee Brucis, and now you're in the know. Thanks, Dee Dee. Now that's all we have for today, Barrington. Have a great rest of the week.